Hi, I'm Chai Love and welcome to this Google Workspace admin tutorial with Apps Events and Acer. So today is all about Windows 10 device management and I'll be talking about the Google credential provider for Windows and device management within Google Workspace. Um, so that's a kind of neat thing that's been around for a while now um, that you've been able to link and manage your Windows 10 devices from Google Workspace and you're able to leverage the advantages of your Google Workspace environment on your Windows devices. And that's neat because it gives your users the ability, yourself the, the ability to manage um, the additional security that you might have users. So in the moment, I'll show you how, for example, signing into a device can leverage your two-step authentication. Uh, you get a seamless single sign-on experience on your Windows device. So you sign in and all your Google Workspace credentials are automatically signed into the cloud. So your access to Gmail, your access to doc sheets and slides and Drive, automatically single sign-on into the environment. So really strong there. You get the idea of that you could have password synchronization, so you can keep Google your Google passwords in sync with the Windows passwords on the device, um, and you get automatic enrollment on management of the device. So when you use the Google uh, credential provider for Windows, you can enable automatic enrollment of that particular device and be able to manage it from the cloud, or you can just opt for uh, enrolling and managing the devices within the cloud without GCPW. So let's have another look at what that means in terms of setup and configuration. So there are really two parts to the setup. There's device management and sign-in management. So sign-in management is taken care of using the GCPW client um, and then device management that can be set up separately or with the GCPW client. Um, my advice is, is to use both. It's a great experience. It works really well and you'll get automatic device enrollment enrollment if you use GCPW and enable that particular setting. Uh, and this is all supported with the particular versions of Google Workspace, the additions that are available that you've got there on the slide deck. One thing to note is that GCPW alone is available on most editions, including Education Fundamentals, uh, and that's available for you just to use and sign in and use your Google credentials to sign into your Windows devices wherever you are. In terms of what you get with that device management, that setup, you've got setting management for your users and you've got device management options in terms of device management and control from the cloud. So with settings management, you can set a user's uh, level when they sign into the device. For example, I have administrators, when they sign into a Windows device, they can automatically get administrative privileges on that device. And you can enforce things like BitLocker, manage Windows updates, and so on. Device management, you can manage and control your Windows devices from Google Workspace Admin. So from the cloud, you can wipe a device, get details about it, uh, sign users out of their Google accounts on the device, get some audit activity around what's happening on that device in terms of system activity. And of course, you can unenroll devices once you've got them enrolled. So those options are available. So let's have a little look and see what it actually looks like in practice. So here's the admin console. And I'm going to just show you where you get the Windows settings that we're going to look at. So I'm going into devices. And then when I'm in devices here, I can go into settings and then I can go to Windows settings. Now to get the GCPW client that I spoke about earlier that provides your, your login and automatic enrollment of devices, you just come into Windows settings and you can download GCPW from here. Now, when you download GCPW, you get a 32-bit or 64-bit or client that already has a token built into it to link your installation of GCPW to your Google Workspace environment. But if you want to also manually download that token, you can, or if you've got some reason to regenerate the token, you can also do that as well. And you can specify which domains you allow to sign in on these devices. So I'm just using this demo domain that I have set up here at the moment, but you can add additional domains if you so wish. So you have some settings around how GCPW will work. And as with most things in Google Workspace, you can of course set these up for differently for different OUs. I'm using this particular demo admins OU. And in here, I've got some settings that are already enabled. I'm allowing multiple accounts, I've got auto update on for GCPW, and I have enabled device enrollment. So in this case, 
if I've got GCPW on the device, that device will automatically be enrolled for device management. And, and I can do something else. I can also set up offline access if I wish. So if I'm not connected to the internet, I can still enable that Windows device to be signed in. So in addition to the GCPW settings, we also have some Windows device management settings. The setting here is whether you allow it to be on or not. So if you are setting up GCPW with automatic enrollment, make sure that you've enabled Windows device management for the particular organizational units where your user goes sign in from. So you can set up how the accounts are managed on the Windows device. So I'm an administrator, so I can set up that I'm going to um, manage the administrative privileges on the device. And so I will, when I log in, as an admin, I'm going to get a local administrator, but I could change to another OU, and I could say that those OU users, when they sign into a Windows device, they are standard users. And you can also set up a local account on the device, just to give you a fallback in terms of local administration. Um, so that's the account settings. And then finally, you can do things with Windows update settings, to schedule when Windows updates will happen, and you've got BitLocker settings about encryption, so whether you force that encryption to be on, and you've got a wide array of custom settings. So this allows you to uh, enable cameras, enable or disable USBs, and so on. So if I go into the custom settings, you'll see here is a couple of that are already set up. So I've got a, a, you're allowing the camera and hiding the VPN settings that are enabled there. So. Those are two settings that are set up and you can add more custom settings using the particular custom setting strings that, that are there. So what does it actually look like in practice? So here's a Windows device. I'm going to sign in with my Google Workspace credentials. I've already signed in once before on this device, so it remembers me. I have a profile on it so I can sign in. And once I'm signed in, I have access automatically to all of my Google Workspace tools. So if I go into Chrome, signed into Chrome, if I go to mail, I'll automatically be signed in. If I go to my uh, Google Drive, Google Drive is already signed in for me. Uh, so I have a seamless SSO experience. And of course, this is also a managed device. So let's switch across and see what that looks like in terms of device management. So here I am back in the admin console and I'm going to have a little look at my uh, Windows management and my Windows endpoints. So I'm back in my mobile endpoints inside device management and I'm going to click on endpoints because that's where we've got our managed Windows devices. And this is my uh, Windows device that I'd set up and shown you just a moment or two ago. And inside here I've got a variety of information that's available about that particular device. Um, so how it was logged in, who was the user that assigned into it, what are the applications we've got on it and available, quite a lot of information. Endpoint verification is on, drive for desktop, enhanced desktop security and GCPW is all managed, it's all, it's all there in terms of security. Uh, no bit locker encryption, as you can see, and you can see when it was last, last sync happened. Um, I've also got the enhanced desktop security that's enabled and that's through the extension that you can install in Google Chrome. Um, so that's a managed Windows device uh, and we can see the information about it. And just one last point is that uh, I've got this identified as a company owned device and that's because I've uploaded the uh, serial number identifier for the device which means that if I go into my company owned inventory, I can actually see my company owned devices separate from user devices. So in an environment where you would have your own devices as an organization and devices uh, that users might sign into themselves. So you kind of bring your own device uh, approach. You can differentiate between company owned devices and user devices, which again, you can use as part of your security rules when you're managing your Google workspace environment. So thanks for watching this brief uh, tutorial from Apps Events and Acer. Hope you've enjoyed that. Like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you very much, folks. See you in the next one.